weirdest ASMR. What's your favorite ASMR? Nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> No, movie? get out of here, CNBC! I don't want you to play this. On, uh, you're gonna give me content ID match for ASMR. Manly awesome. ASMR. ASMR Man. for men. Yeah, that's what we want. Is a dude drinking a Guinness and holding a crowbar. ASMR me, daddy. Hi. <gasps> oh. Now you get it. How you doing? You gotta get closer to the mic, give a little volume on it. I would, re here's, here's your yeah, pitch. Gross. Comforting and supportive GameStop sales associate tries to force you to buy a $3 game guarantee. <laughs> now listen, I know this doesn't seem like it's worth it, but I promise this is gonna be the, oh, I bumped the mic, damn it. Fair <laughs> say, with zesty club sauce. Zesty club sauce. Now draw it out more. No. Zesty club sauce. That's good. Caring and supportive doctor breaks the news to you that the tests have come back and they are indeed anal fissures. Oh, that was the line? I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't doing the rinse and <laughs> No, that's uh, Ryan went to the doctor today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Don't make fun of us, Josh. I, I'm sorry. Now have him say Colt 45. Josh, say Colt 45. <laughs> Clearly intoxicated man pulled over tries to explain to officer that he's not drunk Jeez, while sir. being caring and supportive. I I don't know if you know this. Josh, you're I not good successful. at it. Let Bear Taffy do it. I have a very successful internet page. It's called Northern Lion. <laughs> you can check out my Finding of Isaac episodes. I upload probably 10 a day. <laughs> That's pretty good. Caring and supportive PUBG streamer blames other player for his death. Austin. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Popular Twitch streamer uh, explains to his fans why he can't finish a simple diss track. <laughs> and go. Popular streamer on Twitch deflects and brings up how many YouTube videos and hours of streaming he does a week. <laughs> A popular streamer has a day job. Uh, Hi. Which one of us does that apply to? <laughs> How about a uh, former member of the military explains UFO sighting? <laughs> <laughs> I, st I stole that one from been Chad. About it? We've been yeah. talking about it, man. I fucking aliens, dude. We don't get it either, because every time hey, we what start, they look like. I don't know. They got like oblong Tic Tac chips. What? <laughs> <laughs> It rotated. Yeah. And now doesn't even own editing software. Excuse me. I'm going to uh, purchase oh, that you, humble bundle. Yeah, man. You got to pick up that humble. I'm also going to purchase the humble bundle for programming ebooks today. That's going to teach me how to hack you in C sharp. Nice. Do you know you can get out of that uh, humble bundle is a beat making software so you can finish your rap. <laughs> Did you ever consider glasses? <laughs> Pardon me? Glasses. Yeah, four eyes. <laughs> so you can see sharp. Go. Oh, God. <laughs> you okay. ever consider glasses that could teach you to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> you ever consider asses to put in your face? <laughs> We're all mind flooded anyway. We're just making answers. Tell me what you know about the aliens, Bear Taffy. Did you read the New York Times article? No. I don't read fake news. <laughs> what it's actually kind of crazy. Vegans taste like despair or people. Yeah, could you read the article actually, Josh? In its entirety right now. Is it the glowing auras and black money? Oh, yeah, God, yeah, you up. got it. All right. Washington in the 600 billion annual Defense Department. So this budget. is what we're going to do for the next 48 minutes, huh? <laughs> the $22 million spent on the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program was almost impossible to find which is how the Pentagon wanted it. For years, the program investigated reports of unidentified flying... Next up, you remember I took him out. Did you suppress him? I suppressed him. <laughs> you suppressed him! <laughs> Holy... What's the point of having server mute if you don't use it? Does he know? Am I, am I still suppressed? Oh, no. someone told him. No, I can hear you guys clearly. Oh, right, I didn't deafen that's right. Uh, yeah. If you remember Michelangelo's Mona Lisa 2, which was a painting of my ass or Mona Lisa smile. 
My ass. My ass yeah. is definitely the best answer. What little Bo Peep would confess if she got really drunk? You know, that little spider shat down beside me. Or she saw <laughs> aliens during her time in the Air Force. Ruka, you're a bad cat. Tell me, in your words, what happened with inverted Ruka. Shadow Ruka, a.k.a. Shadow Romo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, we live in this apartment, and it's, like, locked down, right? So, we heard a meow, and Kate was like, what's up with Tomo's meow? He sounds like a normal cat for once. And I was like, yeah, that's weird. It turns out it was a normal cat outside of our apartment. So there's this cat in the hallway, and the cat, like, there's no roamers on this hallway, okay? Every door is closed. So, we, like... Just kind of hung out in the hallway with this cat for 45 minutes, waiting for the owner to come back. We gave it some food and water, but then it didn't come back. Or the owner didn't come back. So we were like, what do we do? Do we leave this cat outside where, like, it could wander around and maybe, like, you know, sneak onto the elevator when somebody gets in? I'm not suggesting, like, a baby's day out sort of situation, but, like, it, it could get off of this floor, which would make it harder for the owner to find it. So anyway, the long and short of it, because this is going to go on way too long, is we took it in for the night, and it was pissed. Like, it was growling the whole time, and I made it, like, a little fake litter box and some food and water and gave it some treats and then I left a note up that was like hey if this is your cat please knock on my door no matter what time it is and the owner took that very literally and knocked on our door at 7 a.m. and was like I'm so sorry I think you have my cat and I was like go pick him up he's in the bathroom and he's a fucking asshole <laughs> I can't believe no, what you did you say inside. I would have just left that you can't cat dude if so if I if my cat made it in the hallway I would want a cat owner to be like, I'll give you shelter and then find your owner. Instead of just leaving him out there. You can leave him out there, you give him food, you give him water, you give him a place to poop, and that's it. That's what you what get. If he, yeah, what if he had rabies? Uh, what? How are they gonna get rabies? We live in a city. Who knows, man? We live in a crazy world. We sequestered Ruka and Tomo, and we sequestered this cat. We kept a... There was an air gap in between them. And that's oh, basically yeah, what if it, it wasn't his cat? Yeah, I mean, at some point, I just have to accept that there are bad actors in the world, and it's not my responsibility to prevent cat thefts. I was operating on good faith. Also, it was a she. Does that change your opinion? If so, congrats, you're a sexist. The worst college football team, the Fighting Hookers or the Fighting Valiantlies? The best way to quickly blow a million dollars. Bitcoin investment or suck its dick? S suck its dick with two money signs on either side. Best answer I've ever seen. Oh, that killed me. The title of a new YouTube cat video that's sure to go viral. Cat discovers unknown alien alloy or this cat fucks. I, I did the other one and I would still vote for this cat fucks. <laughs> Stop. Stop this. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ryan. I don't like laughter. I like laughter. I just don't like these fake hobgoblin laughs. That was the realest laugh I've ever had. Let's take a look at this the only job you would do for free. Welfare or getting laid? I keep oscillating back and forth between becoming like a wealthy industrialist circa the turn of the industrial revolution and like a full-blown communist, communist revolutionary. So there's yeah. a thread on Twitter oh. where game developers were like, what would you do if universal basic income came into existence? Mm -hmm. And all of them were like, I keep making games. And yeah. I'm like, well, you... mission accomplished. Yeah. We're, yeah. Th we're there. Problem solved. I was, getting, I was getting mildly upset by quoting these out of context. A good name for a sex robot. Getting laid or jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody that was like, and I'm not, I'm not saying they're being a jerk by saying this, but they were like, if there was universal basic income, I would just play the guitar the whole time. And I was like, that's what people are worried about. Is that, that that's, it's just going to be a society full of people playing guitar. <laughs> no, but what if it was <laughs> like it John Mayer? <laughs> well, I mean, what, it was, sorry, it was John Mayer's tweet, by the way. So, <laughs> again, business as usual. Oh, the double down. Yes! It's not the heat. It's not the humidity. It's the huge thyroid tumor or aroma of balls. Huge thyroid tumor? It's alliteration? It's not alliteration. Huge thyroid, it's alliteration. Oh, with the heat. Oh, I thought it was with itself. I'm mad that that one lost. Humid, huge. I'm not. I'm glad that it lost. A surprising thing to find inside a pinata. Bunch of pins and asbestos. Or another pinata in that condoms. That reminds me of a funny story that's really short. 
How? Not trying to brag, but I bought condoms on Amazon last week. And when I bought them, <laughs> they were like, hey. Wow. They were like, hey, do you want to share on Facebook your purchase? And they wrote up like a boilerplate tweet that was like, sweet, I just bought Durex Sensathin 32 pack on Amazon. And for a second, I was like, I could probably get away with it. People would get it. They would be like, that's really funny. But I was like, that's not fair. It's, it's pretty to who? To my wife. For them? Oh, okay. <laughs> just show yeah, but you just you know, yeah. Yeah, but then on this show, I clearly, I mean, did yeah. it again. Yeah. But it's really embarrassing for her that you know people might be like, "You have sex with that," <laughs> and I gotta be like, "Oh, something that is currently legal that should be banned: children in movie theaters or DoorDash." What's wrong with DoorDash? I just wanted to make Austin mad. That's mm -hmm. fair. Austin, are you mad? I mean, I'm eating it right now, so I'm actually kind of cool. Is it Chick-fil-A? No. Is it a uh, uh, burrito? No. It's it's Chick-fil-A. Is it actually Chick-fil-A? Nope. Is, is it Thai Chicks? Outfit to dress up the statue of David in. No. It, is it European? <laughs> is it Nugs? <laughs> is it Delicio? Is it KFC? You know, I lied. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> it's DiGiorno. <laughs> oh, a fun no. outfit to dress up the statue of David in. Pants that are too big, or stick a bigger dick on them. I just want to clarify, when I said you have sex with that, I meant, <laughs> I meant that people would say that to her while pointing at me, not vice versa. That's not how I took it. It was a self-own, yeah. not the biggest insult you could ever <laughs> give. Did you recently have like an accident, that's why you're buying condoms? What do you mean? <laughs> like a car uh... accident? <laughs> Like, because I came on the, the I year. came on the gas pedal and it wouldn't. Like, chat, help me out here. Help, help me out here. You know. I, no, like no one understands what you're talking about. I understand what he's talking about, but I just want to watch him dangle. What? I, 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 yeah, I don't understand what the question is. Yo, you get it right. He's asking why you had an accident. And why would you need condoms? A happy accident. Why wouldn't you need condoms? But if you just do the pull-out method, apparently it's very effective according to you. <laughs> They're asking why you don't raw dog. Because I don't want a child. That's a good reason. Why don't you raw dog? For you, you don't think like a wedding you. ring is an IUD? <laughs> <laughs> I, I went through it in my head as I said it. I was like, it's IUD, not IED, right? Because one of them yes. blows up yes. and ruins yeah. your life. And then the other one is a bomb. Does it wait? Does this take the past like five or six minutes? We've been talking about Ryan having sex. <laughs> Twenty-nine-year-old married man has intercourse safely. Just, it's not that the, the we have actual act of sex right is weird. It's just yeah, you could say it's a serious a conversation about you having sex, not a joke conversation about. I you told you sex. it was a short story. Something upsetting you could say to the cable guy as he installs your television service. Would you mind putting some clothes on? Why don't you raw dog suck it, or the TV is actually a bomb? Have a baby, you're getting old. How about give me a hundred thousand dollars right now and I'll consider it. Okay. You won't. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> what a fucking coward. Yeah, you too much of a coward to give me a hundred K right now? <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> yeah, Bear did it. No, I'm How not gonna come on the show. <laughs> Wait, Bear's here? Yeah, because I, I paid the bribe. Oh yeah. Okay. I smoked him. I'm gonna ask you a question. Ask me two. Can I? Yes. All right, there's one. Well, now I'm going to ask you a second <laughs> question. <laughs> You're in the Alien franchise. Any movie, including the Prometheus, you, you can't be Ridley and you can't be anyone who lives. You have to die like someone in the Alien franchise dies. What death do you go for and why? David. David is an android. He can't die. <clears throat> Probably the guy who blows up, right? What are you talking about? Blows himself up? It's implied that he dies, Ryan. The dude who burned to death? I think that's a pretty good one. That's yeah. high t Like, nobody's just going for a straight-up chest burster, right? Absolutely No. Not. I would also prefer to not have my face eaten by a xenomorph like Paul Reiser. Can you be one I've never seen any of the alien movies. You've never seen any of the alien movies. Bear, I've no. seen an alien movie, and that's crazy. I know. What about Peter Wayland? He just gets punched in the face by that uh, Icelandic guy. So, in the new alien movie, 
alien for a dream. Mm. I feel like there's people that exploded without getting aliened. And I would go with that one. Yeah, Does Alien hold up? Supreme ruler of the Earth. I think so. No, I don't like it. Alien. I've never seen it. Okay. I've never Aliens. seen it, and I watched it, and I was like, everyone in this ship is dumb. Aliens is 10 out of 10. Aliens, Aliens is, is fucking great. Yeah, I'm down with Aliens. That's Aliens, the one I've seen. Not, not my job. Oh, okay. Chat's got maybe the best one. Vasquez and her friend pull the pin on a hand grenade. I said that, and you didn't say anything. That's because I was too busy typing bad answers but okay Austin's got the highest power ranking I'd just be the alien you can't do that no I want to be the alien also Nobody many of the aliens them. are just riddled with assault rifle bullets and, until they're torn to shreds Next one. it's still pretty bad but like I want to be the one that lives though <laughs> they always die they always they die in the same way too so how do they keep coming back die cuz David is so dastardly all Michael Fassbender does now is play characters that trick people into trusting him and then shove an alien egg in their body somewhere. Yeah. A great a nickname thing. for That's your armpit exciting. hair. The Pit Stash or Don King. I think that if you didn't tell Michael Fassbender whether he was being Magneto or David, he could still play the movie the right way. As long as he wasn't wearing a Magneto helmet. You know the one. Come up Big with one. a three-word sequel to the book Eat, Pray, Love. Piss, 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 or buy my book. <laughs> I really wanted it to be your joke. Piss, piss, piss is so good. <laughs> What the wow. fuck? I got smoked. Chat, yeah, it turned Josh into Steve-O temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> the worst job title that starts with assistant. Assistant, assistant to the regional manager, or shit assist- wait, assistant <laughs> shit? <laughs> I wish there was shit assistant so much better. Uh, assistant shit is bad, but assistant shit is good. No, shit assistant is good. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> the same thing. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm a dumb man, Austin. We all are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely true. An angry review you'd give this game. Too many memes, stream sucks, fuck you, or 0 out of 10, too horny. I'm not going to finish the tangent I was going to go on. I think it's, it's a little too incendiary. Aliens? Yeah, but not the movie, the real ones. Same question. Take away aliens, add the thing. Like the movie, the thing. They're the correct. The movie, the thing. I have seen it. How you, do you? you who wants die? to die? You want to die like in the thing? I don't How know. How do people we, die in the thing? Yeah. What happens? Uh, you haven't seen the thing? You haven't seen the thing? I don't know. Oh, the dogs. 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 Well, seen. largely like uh, an alien host uh, or parasite, I should say, infects you and then copies your body completely while consuming you from the inside out. Some people freeze to death. Oh, is it the one where they're all like sitting in a room at the end, and one guy's tied up, and or like a yeah, bunch of people are tied yeah, up. yeah, okay. yeah. I've seen yeah. That's that approximately the scene. end of the first half. I've a bad name for a brand of hot sauce: Devil's Sweltering Urethra Excretion or Icebreaker's Gum. Yeah, Chet's got it, dude. If I could be in the thing, I would want to be the guy whose stomach eats both of the doctor's arms. Round two. <laughs> that guy is on the top of the power rankings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Something the devil is afraid of. Kaiser Soze or his many brands of hot sauce. <laughs> the name of your new plumbing company. Unclog the slog bog, dog frog gog, tog mog. Okay, whatever the other one is, is getting my vote. Yep. Mr. Shitter. Mr. Shitter. <laughs> Mr. Shitter got a nasty clog. <laughs> And you know that you're the only one who can. There's a, in my Unclog. there's a guy called the Duty Man. I love it. Nice. And uh, his sign was a guy flying off a toilet in like a rocket of shit. And he was saying, oh shit. But it was like a star asterisk dollar sign. <laughs> it's incredibly rude to come with your mouth open, or it's incredibly rude to throw up profusely all over Times Squares. <laughs> I don't know why that's 
I don't know why it got me so good, too. Excuse me, sir. Which way to get to Times Squares? <laughs> oh, fuck me, Next man. One. That's funny. I'm trying to wonder now, though. I usually keep my mouth open way. or closed. Definitely open. Always open. Open, always open. Probably like well, that's why it's so funny. Is because like everyone comes to <laughs> yeah. mouth open. But the next time you do it, you're gonna think about it. It's gonna, <laughs> no, it's freaking me it's out. It's gonna man. ruin the orgasm completely. <sighs> the most boring graffiti you could see in the subway just looks like normal brick or 2017 rules. Okay. Everyone in chat, the next time they come, which is probably like after the show. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, like during the show, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna come and they're gonna be like, "Fuck me, my mouth was open slash closed." I'm gonna try to keep my mouth closed next time. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a challenge. You, you can't, can't look do at yourself it. dead in the eyes in the mirror. Is yeah, what if it's like <laughs> I'm gonna hold a little your eyes open? Up. <laughs> a bad name for an Italian restaurant: Je suis Francais or It's a lot of rice aroni. <laughs> <laughs> Most people know it as the Big Apple, but a lesser known nickname for New York is the Big Napple, the Big Ulu, the Big Cornholy, the Big New York, it's New York, hey, it's New York, the Big what Apple, or the Big Fat Phony. What is Ulu? It's the uh, Big Rock in Australia. No, 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 no. Was that the no, no, no cat? <laughs> or was that them? No, 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 uh, was no, that a, no, preach, uh, a priest? Changing your religion in uh, Age of Empires 2? <laughs> oh my god! Thank you, Brain! This is such a good answer! I I can't take credit for that one. That one's that came from above. <laughs> Every once in a while you just you got someone it? has I've become a vessel for the god of humor in this case. <laughs> I'll go back to typing shit assistant next round, but... <laughs> the worst breakfast. Pancakes shaped like... Swastikas. Or waffles. I'm very upset because... I typed... I was in this one. I typed pancakes shaped like squares. Mm. That wasn't my euphoric moment, by the way, but... I thought, wow, okay, how, abs glad. how absurd, yeah. a square pancake. That's mundane, but kind of funny. But neither, it's not on here. Swastikas yeah, mine, or waffles. No, mine isn't on there. I, or, did we get the same prompt twice in one wait, round? I got this prompt. We did, didn't we? <laughs> what the fuck? Prompt. Wait, what? <laughs> did we get oh, this prompt? Swastikas beat waffles by one prompt. vote as well. Wow. What? That's a prompt jinx? What? The worst what? breakfast! Whoa. Pancake shaped like blank! A fucking prompt jinx? What? The meta keeps changing. We need to do like a power ranking and like have like a playoffs of this question. This is the <laughs> inspiration for bracketeering. Yeah. Oh my god, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. They're forcing bracketeering on us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the aliens. That's the aliens. That's them. That's them. I'm, all I'm saying you. is if you, eat, 12, 18. if you eat square pancakes, you might be a Next Nazi. Up. The name of a painting Michelangelo was ashamed he created. A man coming with his <laughs> mouth closed or me pooping in the river. What were we talking about a second ago? I thought we had a good line. Um, aliens? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like Josh. Yeah. Are you guys pro or anti-alien? Pro. Contact. Probe. Pro. I want them to come. <laughs> You gotta be pro, <laughs> otherwise they'll kill you. I want all the aliens to come with their mouth closed. <laughs> what are it's like uh, it's like going to prison. You gotta make somebody your bitch. So we gotta contact them. And then just clown on them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah as soon down. as they think that we're safe, we just punk them out. Take their shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, what's the difference in this one? Hilarious. Hey. Something they will probably never make hey a series of commemorative stamps for. Swastikas <laughs> or the <laughs> Trump <laughs> presidency. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's an accent on planet Earth that makes it sound like Mike Pence when you say it is my pants? Like yeah, like a absolutely. really southern drawl, like my, my pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely just wonderful to meet you, my pants. <laughs> I voted for my pants. I was watching the TV, and I seen my pants on the television. I said, "What? What's that doing there?" Support my pants. 
What should we do with all the plastic that won't disintegrate? Recycle it or something? I don't know. Or eat it. It's gotta be one of the most wholesome, funny political jokes we've ever made. Yeah, that yeah. was, that like, was real. Nothing like really about that that's, that's against one side or another. It's just a funny joke. The nation has been split by my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my pants weren't so homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eat it. Okay, follow up question. Wow, what Eat It actually had some built in VO. Make up a name for a silent porno film porno from the 1920s. Shh, they'll hear you coming. Or me <laughs> pooping in the river. <laughs> I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give points to the commitment for me pooping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is justice in the world. Pooping in the river, got it? No, it lost handle. God! Oh. Damn it. <laughs> it was a, a landslide. <laughs> that, that was your epiphany, huh? That was. <laughs> Real good one. <laughs> it's like Dan's formula. It's so good. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, Dan, you're my hero. God, <laughs> so sour, Ryan. <laughs> Someone in the comment on my YouTube yeah. said, Kate, you're the worst. I'm unsubscribing. Wow. No. Oh. Rude. I feel, I didn't know I was the worst person on this planet. Well, I can think of, uh, at, at least you're not in my pants. <laughs> 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 the least scary <laughs> horror movie. Night of the Scholastic Book Fair or Night of the Living Dreadlocks? I was thinking the other day, I'm actually balls deep in my pants. <laughs> Something awful to hold in your mouth for an hour. Your breath while you're coming or a fart. <laughs> Survive coming for an hour. Just straight. I think you'd be a broken man after you finished. Right? I don't think I could survive coming a minute straight. Oh, dude, no, that's that's the perfect <laughs> number right there. That's just long enough to be ridiculous, but not too long to actually kill you. Imagine a full minute of coming. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I bet my pants good. Yeah, caring and supportive Mike Pence comes for an hour with his mouth closed. <laughs> When I come, I think about my pants. I come in my pants. <laughs> a terrible theme for a high school prom. The cherry popper or binding of Isaac Let's Plays. I just yeah. shit my pants. <laughs> oh, I read that straight. I was trying to remember what that was from, too. Shit my pants? That shit my pants commercial, yeah. Ah, oh, screw it. Just type in something dirty. Something dirty or this is an ASCII penis. Which is actually, like, pretty... Skillfully rendered, considering the circumstances. Circumcision. Well, it is. I mean, you got a capital D at the end there, not like a, not like a C or something. <laughs> that dude's got a straight ass dick. Yeah. Ass dick. No curves on that baby. Depends. If he's got it in his, my pants. <laughs> um, on the 147th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Help, 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 help. 147 herpes. A bad name for a pet goldfish. My pants or shit assistant. All right, it's the, uh, we've come to the end of the program. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking good Scooby Doo. Yeah, that was yeah. a good Scooby. Was it a caring and supportive Scooby Doo? Is that the thing now? Caring and supportive Scooby Doo solves the mystery of who stole your identity. A terrible vacation a idea. Terrible Going vacation to visit idea. the museum Going of. Visit the museum of blank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your pants. <laughs> <laughs> the Museum of Modern Farts. The Museum of My Pants with Cum Stains. The Museum of Natural Fistery. The Museum of Natural Appliance. The Museum of Michael Pence's Pez Dispensing Pen Pants. Or the Museum of Pepsi Bottles. 
He's Michael gone. Pence's Pez dispensing pen pen. Nah, fuck, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Michael Pence's Pez dispensing pen pants. Michael, Michael Pence's Pez dispensing pen pants. Michael Pence's Pez dispensing pen pants. Ah, fuck. Pez dispensing pet peps. Pet peps. <laughs> <laughs> One smart fellow, he felt smart. No. One smart fellow, he felt I smart. Think... One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. They're all too good at it. I can't win. Michael Pence's Pez dispensing pen pants. Is yes. that like make you say like he smelled farts? Yep. Come come by and watch. Just do it. Closed. Oh, How? Your mouth closed. Hi, I'm Josh and I'm slash me pooping in the river. Hey Justin. Yo, Austin. Well wait for Ryan to leave. I don't want him to hear. I wanna hear though. Now I wanna hear. Alright, Justin, let's go join your chat so he can't hear. I can get in there. Oh my god, you can't. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I can get in there. Go ahead, choose oh. one. I'll call you privately, Justin, on Discord. Oh right? my! Can't, don't, you can't you, follow us don't you dare! There, I'm gonna call <laughs> you call. on Discord. Go yeah, okay. to on Discord. Yeah, I'll it. it to you. I didn't want to make it all public because I didn't want to pressure Justin into doing it. I wanted to make his own decision. But you know, fuck you, Ryan. I guess I'll do it. Do Justin, it. You want, you want to play Dota? No. Wow. <laughs> I'm so That's glad you let that happen. I thought it'd be 